Heavenly Father, I thank you, Father, for waking us up this morning. Father, I thank you for your love, for your kindness, for your mercy, and for your grace. Father, I thank you for who you are. You are King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Father, you are El Shaddai, Lord God Almighty. You are Yahweh Jireh, our provider. Father, you are Yahweh Nisi, the Lord, our banner. And your banner over us, Father, is love. Is love. Father, you are the Alpha. You are the Omega. Father, you are the beginning. You are the end, and oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we worship you right now in spirit and in truth, oh God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord, we love you. We adore you, Father, hallelujah. I, Father, I feel your presence right now. I feel your spirit right now, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Let us exalt his name together. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us, let us lift him up right now. Hallelujah. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to the King of Kings. Glory be to the most high God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord, we reverence you. Father, we adore you. We love you, oh God. We worship you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, please forgive us of all of our sins. Father, wash us with the redeeming, atoning blood of your son, Jesus. Father, I ask right now. That you will look upon our daughters in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I lift up your daughters to you, O God. In the name of Jesus. Father, you know us by name. And you call us by name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for calling our names. For knowing our names, oh God. For having us inscribed in the palm of your hands, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we are your masterpiece. Created by the master, Father God, you're gathering the broken pieces of your daughters. And Father God, you're making us whole right now. Those of us who have been in pieces, we've been shattered. We've been broken down, Father. I thank you that your angels are coming up and down the ladder, oh God. As mentioned in Genesis 28, they're coming up and down the ladder because the gates of heaven are open over our daughters, Father, over your daughters, over me, over my daughters, Father God, and all the daughters who are tied to this ministry, all the daughters in the body of Christ. Your angels are walking up and do- Father, walking up and down the, the ladder because the doors of your heaven, Father, are open. And you're looking upon us. The windows, the gates, the doors of heaven, Father, they're open up over your daughters. And Father, you are meeting every need, and so I thank you. I thank you, oh God. Holy Spirit, you can pray through me. Say what you need to say 
to the daughters. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself as well with the blood of Jesus. I cover our homes, our vehicles, our properties with the blood of Jesus. I cover our bodies, our spirits, our souls, our minds, our willing emotions with the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. Father, begin to cleanse our daughters. Father, cleanse our daughters. Father, cleanse your daughters. In the name of Jesus. Wash away anything that's not of you, Father. We dip in the Jordan River. Father God, baptize us with Holy Ghost fire and with water. Father, begin to anoint us with oil. Anoint our heads with oil, Father. So that no bugs can get into our ears and into our brains to cause madness and death. Cover us, Father. Protect us. Protect us, so God, protect our minds and speak deliverance to our souls, our minds, will, and emotions right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come against every mental illness. I come against every mental pressure. I bind the octopus spirit, the squid, Father. I bind every marine spirit and cast them out into the abyss. Father, loose your daughters right now in the name of Jesus. Father, give us the mind of Christ. Give our daughters the mind of Christ. That peaceful mind, oh God. Because of your shalom, peace. Father, your tranquility, Father. Your wholeness and prosperity and wellness, oh God. Begin to heal the minds of our daughters by the stripes of Jesus. Our minds are healed. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God, that we have on the whole armor of God. Our daughters have on the helmet of salvation. Their minds are covered. Our minds are covered. Father God, we meditate upon the word of God day and night. And we are your trees growing, Father God. Growing. Because we're planted by the river of living waters, Father God. Our daughters are planted by the riverbanks. Father, they bear righteous fruit of the Spirit, the righteous fruit of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. And so right now, Father, I decree and I declare concerning our daughters, no weapon formed against our daughters shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against them in judgment, Father, we condemn Isaiah 54, 17 is their birthright. I decree and I declare that our daughters are established in righteousness and oppression is far from them in the name of Jesus. According to Isaiah 54, verse 14. Father, I thank you that our daughters, Father, they hold up the shield of faith. And they quench every fiery dart of the enemy right now. In the name of Jesus. Ephesians 6, 16 is their birthright. I decree and I declare that our daughters understand that the weapons of their warfare are not carnal, but mighty through you, O God, to the pulling down of strongholds. Every stronghold in their minds are destroyed right now, pulverized by the fiery hammer of the word of God. According to 2 Corinthians 10, 4, their minds are renewed right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our daughters take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and they use it against the enemy. Our daughters have been redeemed from the curse of the law. They are redeemed from poverty. They are redeemed from sickness. They are redeemed from spiritual death. According to Galatians 3.13, they're blessed in the name of Jesus. They are blessed in the city, blessed in the fields, blessed when they come, blessed when they go. Our daughters are blessed and they overcome all because greater is he that lives inside of them than the devil in the world. 
Father, they are overcomers. Because greater is you, Father, who lives inside of our daughters than he that is in the world. First John 4, 4 is their birthright, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Our daughters stand in the evil day, having their loins girded about with truth. Christ Jesus is their truth. They have on the black, Father, they have on the blessed breastplate of righteousness. And their feet are shod with the gospel of peace to work in your kingdom, O God. They take the, the, the shield of faith. Father God, their heads are covered with the helmet of salvation and they use the sword of the spirit, O God, which is the word of God. They read the word. They meditate upon the word day and night. Father, they obey your word. And they're delivered right now from the power of darkness. And they have been translated into the kingdom of your son, O God. Colossians 1.13 is their birthright. Our daughters, they tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt them. Luke 10.19 is their birthright. In the name of Jesus. Our daughters do not have a spirit of fear but of love, power, and a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1, 7 is their birthright. Our daughters, they are blessed with our spiritual blessings and heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 1, 3 is their birthright. And by the stripes of Jesus, our daughters are healed right now in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 53, verse 5 is their birthright. Oh God, I thank you for healing our daughters, oh God. Father, I thank you for anointing their heads with oil and their cups run over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow our daughters all the days of their lives, O God, and they will dwell in your house forever. Our daughters have been anointed to do your will, Father. They have, they have been anointed from before the foundation of the world to serve you. And so they are anointed preachers and teachers and healers, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. They have ministries that are thriving and winning souls for your kingdom. They cast not devils. They understand spiritual warfare. They walk in discerning of spirits. Father, they have divine wisdom, divine knowledge, divine revelation, divine understanding. Oh God, they have the right spirit in them. Oh God, they receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. Oh God, and they reign in life through Christ Jesus. They reign in life through Christ Jesus. Our daughters have life and have life more abundantly. John 10, 10, our daughters, they have life and life more abundantly. They walk in the light. They walk in the light. They walk in the light, Father God. They are your righteousness because of Jesus. Our daughters are the head and not the tail above only, never beneath, oh God. Our daughters use their mouths to speak the word of God, to, to pray, Father God. They decree a thing and it's, it's established in their lives, oh God. And your light is shining upon their paths. They shall decree a thing and it shall be established in their lives. Job 22 verse 28. They are Job's daughters. In the earth, blessed of the Lord, oh God, and most highly favored, I thank you, oh God. That wealth and riches are in our daughters' houses, oh God. And their righteousness endures forever. They excel in you. They obey you, Father God, and eat the best of the land. They have godly families, godly spouse, godly children. They're satisfied with long life, Father God. And Father God, you show them your salvation. Yasa Hosanna. Psalm 91, 16 is their birthright. Our daughters are satisfied with long life. And Father God, you show them your salvation. You're showing them deliverance now, deliverance now, deliverance now, deliverance now, deliver whatever the sin is, oh God, whatever the bondage is, we release the anointing to destroy the yokes of bondage. Father God, I thank you that you, you have anointed me right now, Father God, to set the captives free. To set the captives free. In the name of Jesus, the anointing has destroyed the yokes. Whatever the yokes are, they're destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. And our daughters are delivered, delivered, delivered from every prison. In the name of Jesus, they are free.
free. And he whom the Son has set free is free indeed. And the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord God is upon them. And where the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord God is, there's liberty. I speak freedom to our daughters right now in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I decree and declare that our daughters dwell in the secret place of the Most High. And they abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Psalm 91 is their birthright. No evil will befall them. And no plague shall come near their dwelling. Psalm 91 verse 10 is their birthright. I decree and I declare that our daughters are being taught of the Lord. And great is their peace. According to Isaiah 54 verse 13. Our daughters are strengthened with might by the Holy Spirit on the inner man. They are rooted and grounded in love. In the name of Jesus. They walk in forgiveness. They walk in favor. Father God, you have blessed them and kept them. You have made your face to shine upon our daughters. You have been gracious unto them. Father God, you have lifted up your countenance upon our daughters and you've given them shalom, peace. Number six, 24 to 26 is their birthright, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Our daughters are satisfied with favor, divine favor, and they are filled with your blessings, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, rain your blessings upon them. Wash away the curses in the bloodline, Father God. Destroy every generational curse, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father, let your blessings make them rich and add no sorrow. Proverbs 10, 22. Father God, give them success in you. In the name of Jesus, Father God, daily load them with divine benefits. According to Psalm 68, verse 19. Father, I thank you that our children have been chosen by you and they're blessed. And they inherit the land. And they are a part of your family, Father God. Father God, they they are a royal priesthood, a holy nation. They are your daughters, Father. You have called them up out of darkness into your marvelous light. And Father, you've blessed them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father God, release the blessings of the daughters right now. Father, release the blessings of the daughters right now. In the name of Jesus, let your beauty be upon them. Father, lead them into that secret place where they're being taught of you and not learning from the world, only learning from the word of God. Father, help them to love you, seeking first your kingdom, O God, and your righteousness so that all that they need will be added unto them, Father God. Let them not be superficial. Let them not be materialistic. Father God, I pray that you begin to build them up on the inside to be secure in you, to be knowledgeable, filled with grace and wisdom, oh God, in the name of Jesus. May they be wise, making wise decisions. May they have your ambition. Father, I pray that they will wait They will wait on you, hunger and thirst after your righteousness. Father God, until you fill them up, until they overflow, their cup is running over with your blessing, with, with worship unto you, with prayerfulness, fasting, obedience unto you, holiness. They are holy, living upright before you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you and I praise your name. Give them revelation. Open up their minds. Father God, give them the spirit of wisdom and revelation. And let the eyes of their understanding be enlightened. According to Ephesians 1.17, I say effortha to their eyes right now. Effortha to their hearts. Effortha to their, their ears. In the name of Jesus. Father, help our daughters to understand heavenly things. 
open up their eyes to behold wondrous things out of your law, out of your word, Father. Psalm 119, 18, open their eyes, open their spiritual eyes, oh God, like blind Bartimaeus, open up their eyes right now, oh God, in the name of Jesus, like Elisha's servant, Father, open up their eyes to, to, to see into the spiritual realm, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Reveal your glory to them. Let your glory be revealed to our daughters, oh God. Let your glory be revealed to our daughters, Father God. Let your glory be revealed to our daughters, oh God. Let your word be revealed unto them. Let your word be revealed unto them. Let your word, oh God, be revealed to our daughters in the name of Jesus. Father, pour out your spirit as you promised in Joel chapter 2. Let them prophesy and dream dreams. Hallelujah. May they be your handmaids. May they be your servants, Father. Begin to clothe them with the robe of salvation. Father, give them the oil of gladness and remove the spirit of heaviness right now. Remove the depression, the oppression, oh God. Remove the anxiety, the infirmity, sickness, and disease, oh God. Begin to deliver them, oh God, and restore the years. The palm of worms ain't up, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, heal their organs their blood. Father, heal their cells. Heal, oh God, every system in their bodies. Heal them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Heal their bones. Heal their ears, their eyes, their nose, their sinuses, oh God, their brains. Heal their hearts, their spine, their spleen, every part of them, their kidneys, their livers. Father, heal them, oh God, their ribs. Heal their spine, oh God, 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 God, oh 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 Heal the childhood hurts. Heal them of old wounds, oh God. Heal them of, of their past, Father. And begin to usher and accelerate them, oh God, into where they should have been. Into the promised land. Father God, we raise them to serve and serve you. We raise them to serve you, Father. You said, train up a child in the way that they should go. And when they get older, they will not depart from it, Father. I thank you for being a covenant-keeping God, oh God, and honoring your word that will never return back unto you void, but it will be accomplished. Our daughters are delivered right now from every python spirit I burn and cast you out into the abyss. In the name of Jesus, our daughters are set free. Set free dancing for you, oh God. Singing for you. Writing books for you. Preaching for you. Open up businesses for you. Building churches for you. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for blessing them in school. Blessing them to get scholarships to, co- to the godly colleges. Father, thank you for blessing them with the right job and businesses. Thank you for sending them godly spouse. Thank you that our children are holy, oh God. In the name of Jesus. And they can see right through the media, right through the world. And the schemes of the devil, they can see. They have eagle's eyes to see, Father God. And they choose you. They choose to walk the straight and narrow, Father God, because their minds are open in the name of Jesus. They're no longer desperate and broken and wounded. They are healed. Healed. Adopted by you, Father, loved by the Most High God, fearfully and wonderfully made in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise your name. 
Glory to God. Glory to God. Breakthroughs for our daughters. Breakthroughs. Their eyes are enlightened right now, Father, with your word. Father, their eyes are enlightened, oh God, with your word. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. They break free now. They break free now from every limitation, every restriction that was placed on them, Father God, by evil spirits. Our daughters are delivered. Father, you've enlarged their territory like Jabez. Father, enlarge their steps to receive your wealth and prosperity, O God, according to Isaiah 60. In Isaiah 49, Father, I thank you for enlarging their minds to understand you, enlarging their hearts to love you, enlarging, oh God, their steps to elevate and promote them, Father God, in the name of Jesus. For all the daughters in the lion's den, even your daughters, oh God, thank you for delivering them from the lion's den and promoting them and dealing with their enemies accordingly. In the name of Jesus. Deliverance for the daughters today. Deliverance for the daughters today. In the name of Jesus. Father God, as they're sleeping like Jacob. In the book of Genesis 28. It it speaks of Jacob being by himself. Trying to go to live with his uncle Laban. Because Esau was coming after him. But Father, I thank you. That the Bible says when he reached a certain place and you're taking our daughters to this, to that certain place where they're having that divine encounter with you. Verse 11, when he reached a certain place, he stopped for the night because the sun had set. Because the sun had set. Father, I thank you for stopping our daughters in their tracks, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So that they can have an an encounter with you, Father God. And when he reached a certain place, Father, I thank you that our daughters have reached that certain place in you where you can speak to them in the name of Jesus. And the Bible said that it was night. Father God, our daughters have been going through the night seasons of sin obstacle setback whatever the night has been father i thank you for shining your light the light of your word father i thank you i thank you oh god for opening up their eyes father i thank you that you are shining upon their paths right now and the bible said taking one of the stones there jacob put it under his head and he lay down to sleep And so, Father, I thank you because the last person you made fall asleep, Father Adam. And when he woke up, Eve was there. You did a miracle while he was sleeping. And so, Father, I thank you that as our daughters are resting in you. Because, Father God, they have been anxious and and, and agitated and, and, and weary. But, Father God, you're giving them rest. Spiritual rest physical rest because they've been going through the warfare we your daughters also have been going through the warfare the battles were raging against our daughters raging against us but father god we come to rest and he took the he took he took one of the stones we've been going through the rock and hard places father god we've been going through difficulties Where we've been using stones for pillars. Father God, for our pillars. Stones for the pillows. And he put it under his head and he lay down to sleep. And so Father God, we come to rest. Give our daughters rest. Give our daughters rest. Shalom, peace. Shalom, peace. No more fear, no more anxiety, no more looking for love in all the wrong places, no more rebellion, no more stubbornness, 
No more disobedience. No more going around in a circle. Lay down and rest. Lay down and rest. Father God said his yoke is easy. His burden is light. Rest. Rest for your soul. Drink from the still water of the word of God. Rest. You've been going through for a long time. Rest. Stand still. And see my salvation. Stand still and know that I am God. I will be exalted in your situation. Rest. The battle is not yours. Rest. And the Bible said he had a dream in which he saw a stairway, a ladder. The ladder. He saw a ladder. And Father God, you show me the, the word. Um, I think it was echelon. And Father, it means ladder. And so Father, I thank you. I thank you that you're showing us the ladder, the breakthrough, elevation, uprightness. He saw the ladder and it was resting on the earth with its top reaching to heaven. The ladder was resting on the earth and wherever our daughters are at right now, wherever we are right now, Father, as your daughters, heaven's ladder is resting right where we're at right now, right now, right now, where we have been. And it's reaching to the top, to the heaven. And Father, your angels are ascending and descending on this ladder, this golden ladder of breakthrough, deliverance, elevation, uprightness. You're taking us higher in you, Father God. You're taking our daughters higher in you. And there above the ladder stood Father you. And you said, I am the Lord, the God of your father, Abraham. You're speaking to our daughters now. You're speaking to us. I am the Lord, the God of your father, Abraham, and the God of Isaac. I will give you and your descendants the land on which you are lying. Your descendants will, will be like the dust of the earth. And you will spread out to the west and to the east, to the north and to the south. And all peoples on the earth will be blessed through you and your offspring. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. Father God, you are giving us Abraham's blessings. And you're enlarging us and our daughters. Father God, you're enlarging us, your daughters. And also our daughters. And you're with us, oh God, and you're watching over us wherever we go. And Father God, you're bringing us back. To all the promises that you've made to us. I will bring you back to this land. And I will not leave you until I have done what I have, I have promised you. Father, I thank you that you are a promise keeper. A covenant keeping God. Father, you're never going to leave us. Nor forsake us. We have been adopted into your family. Father, we thank you. He who has begun a good work in us will complete it. He who has begun a good work in our daughters will complete it. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. And Father, the Bible says in verse 16, when Jacob awoke, because you're waking up our daughters and you're waking us up when he had, when he had awoke from his sleep, he thought surely the Lord is in this place. And wherever our daughters are at right now, Father God, they're saying the same thing. Surely the Lord is in this place. And I was not aware of it. In verse 17, he was afraid and he said, how awesome is this place? This is none other than the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. And so, Father, I thank you that we're having revelation upon revelation in the portals of heaven. They're open up, oh God, the gate of heaven is open up over our daughters. And they are becoming your Bethel, the temple of the living God. Father, I thank you that, that heaven's gates are open. The floodgates are, of heaven are open up over our daughters. And you are blessing them today in the name of Jesus. The Heaven's doors, heaven's, heaven's gates, heaven's windows are open up over our daughters. And the Bible says in verse 18, early the next morning, Jacob got up. 
He took the stone, that hard thing, that thing that was difficult, the, the difficult things that our daughters have been going through, Father God. He took the stone and, that, that he placed under his head and, and, and he had used it, Father God, to sleep as a, as a pillow. But Father God, he, he set it up as a pillar and he poured oil on top of it. And Father God, you're pouring your anointing oil on those difficult things that our daughters have been dealing with. And the anointing is destroying every yoke of bondage in the name of Jesus. And he called the place Bethel, which means house of the Lord. And Father, he began to make a vow unto you. And I pray, oh God, that you'll give our children, our daughters, a heart to make vows unto you and keep those vows. If God will be with me and will watch over me on this journey I'm taking and will give me food to eat and clothes to wear so that I return safe, safely to my father's house, then the Lord will be my God. And this stone that I have set up as a pillar will be God's house. And of all that you give me, I will give you a tenth. Father God, may this be the prayer of our daughters. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, I pray for the daughters of those who are following us on YouTube and on the pod, even on Facebook. I ask the, 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 the mothers to put the, the names. Well, I ask the parents to put the names of their daughters. And Father, I call their names before you right now. And all the ones who are going to post the names of their daughters, we, they're, they're included as well. And so, Father, I add my name. Stacy. I add my name because I'm your daughter. I'm somebody's daughter. I add my daughters. Malika. Genesis. Heaven, angel, Father, this prayer is for them. And for Sonia and Sasha, Shakula's daughters, and Taisha's daughters, Donisha, Dallas, Aaliyah, for Karen's daughters, Miriam, Sarah, Shauna, Jessica, Jennifer, Shannon, and for Jessica's daughters, Demi, Cassie and Maya. Father God, for Janetta's daughter, Naomi. For Sharon's daughter, Dana Joy. Father God, and for Kim, her daughters, Londa and Tiara. And for LaShonda, Deja and Darielle. Father God, and for Celicia's daughters, Anaya and Janaya. Father God, in the name of Jesus, for Kerry's daughter, Gabrielle, spelled the same way as my daughter Genesis' name. Genesis Gabrielle. Father God, Gabrielle means strength. Lord is my strength. Father, I thank you for these daughters, for Scott's daughter, Jada, Mary's daughter, Sharnika, Father, for Danielle's daughter, Vision, Tatiana, Mariah, Brownie, Faria's daughter, Nalisha, for Bubba's daughter, Janelle, Father God, for 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 Dewana's daughter, Taraja, and Malaysia, for for Sia's arts daughter, Rosa, Eva, and Rebecca. Father, I present them before you right now. And even our unborn daughters and grandchildren. For Margaret's daughters, Kimberly, Tina, Father, and all, all, the, all her children, all, all the babies. Father Andrea's, and, and, and it says Drian, Driandre, Father, all of them, all of the daughters, all of their daughters, all of our children are covered. For Roxanne's daughters, Ezra, Father, and all her daughters, um, Rakumi, Logan, and Leah. Father, for Joanne's daughters, Lisa, Lisa Marie, Myrna, Eliza, Bella, Alexa, Grace. Lord, I thank you. I cover them with the blood of Jesus and I bless them. Bianca, Rachel, Sharon, 
that's Luis's daughters, Father God, and for, for um, spiritual Lee Spoken's daughter, Regina, cover them with the blood. Cover them with the blood. Father, I cover Tammy, her daughters, and, um, and Antonisia, and Maria, Mariah, and Skyla. Please forgive me for mispronouncing their names. Father, you know who I'm talking to. Tammy Dixon's daughters, cover them in the blood. Alexandra, I cover your children. Yamalet and, and Sandra, I cover Bianca's daughters. Liana, Nyla, Mariah, in the name of Jesus. Paula's daughters, Chantel and Shawanda. Father God, Deidre's um, daughter, Paisley, Rena's daughter, Jackie, Eva's daughter, Naomi and Sarah. Father, I lift up Angie's daughters, Kimani, some Samaria, and Father God, all the daughters. Bless her with more children in the name of Jesus. I, ju- I dreamt two um, pregnancy tests last week. Father, I thank you that you are our champion. I bless these babies. I bless our daughters. They're serving in your kingdom. They are like Job's daughters, the daughters of Zelophiah. Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You place your crown on their heads, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray for Christina's daughter, Samara. Father God, I pray for Idara, Patrick's daughter, Z- Zayana and, and Sanika. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Sanaya and, and, Z- and Zayana. Father God, I cover them with the blood. Daphne's daughter, Alexandra. In the name of Jesus, Alex, Alexandra, Christian, we cover your daughters, Shantae and Isabella, with the blood of Jesus. Miriam, I cover Sheena, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Daphne and Peyton, we cover Peyton. Yes, Father God, I lift up Alicia's daughter. Um, daughter. Father God, Tiffany's daughters. Tiffany Hadley, Tiffany Flowers, I cover your daughters in the blood. Symphony, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Paige and Peyton, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Father, I cover um, Malia, Father God. I cover them with the blood of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Carol's granddaughters, I cover them with the blood of Jesus. Father, I thank you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I cover Layla with the blood of Jesus. Malia, Father, cover them with the blood of Jesus. All my former students, I cover them with the blood of Jesus. The foster children, cover them with the blood of Jesus. Glory to God. I cover Vernice's daughters, Bernica and Floria. I cover Father God Amanda's daughters, Sh- Shazara, Father, and AIS. L-I-N, in the name of Jesus, C-H-E-Z-A-R-A-Y, I cover you with the blood of Jesus, A-I-S-L-I-N-N, I cover you with the blood of Jesus, Father, send your angels to our daughters now to help, I cover De- Deline's daughters, Dorinda and Tammy, Elena's daughter, Sharice, Trisha's daughters, Lindsay and Chelsea, cover them with the blood, Kiara, Bailey, and Chastity, Father, I cover them with the blood. Classy's daughters, I cover them with the blood. Paulette's daughters, Shanique, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover Lisa's daughter, Brianna, with the blood of Jesus. Annette, I cover your daughters. Janisha and Jasmine. Willie, I cover the genre with the blood of Jesus. D-A-S-H-U-N-D-R-A I cover you with the blood of Jesus 
and him and I'm talking about him and for like two years him and means home protector God is protecting your home protecting all of our homes in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Janice I cover Michelle Sicily I cover Nadia Genesis and Atia in the name of Jesus glory to God Father, I thank you and I praise your name for all the daughters represented, Father God. Even the ones who are going to comment later, Father God. In the name of Jesus, our grandchildren, granddaughters, we cover them with the blood. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus, the Bible says that Job had daughters. You know Job. Everything was stripped away from him. But the Bible said when Job, after Job prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortunes and gave him twice as much as he had before. That's Job 42, starting at verse 10. And his family came and they blessed him and comforted him and gave him silver and gold. God is restoring our daughters. But the Bible says that all, all of Job's children had died. But when God began to restore him in, in, in chapter 42, it said God gave him seven sons and three daughters. The first daughter he named Jemima, the second Kizia, and the third Karen Apuk. And I've, I've, did teach, I've done teaching on this before. Those of you who have been following the ministry, we, we, we've, we've spoken about the names of Job's, Job's daughters, but I want to release that over our daughters. And so Jemima means dove. And so, Father, I ask that you will be, Father God, your Holy Spirit will be upon our daughters. Father God, fill them up with the Holy Spirit. And you've been showing me the doves on my porch, too, even on, on our car, the same two doves. Father, I ask for a double portion of peace upon our daughters, that you will fill them up with the Holy Ghost. And Father God, that you would manifest as shalom to them in the name of Jesus, dove. When Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit descended on him like a dove. The, the ladder from heaven opened up and the dove, the Holy Spirit came in like a dove. Father, I thank you for opening up heaven's doors and windows and gates over our daughters. And you're descending upon our daughters, Father God. They're feeling the weight of your glory in the name of Jesus. They're living holy and righteous lives for you. Thank you, oh God, for the dove that was released from the ark. Father, I thank you that every demonic water is dried up and our daughters. Father, they have breakthrough and deliverance and they see the rainbow over their lives. Oh God, your covenant being fulfilled in their lives in the name of Jesus. And the next daughter... Father God, it says the next daughter, Kizia. And that name means Kasia, which is like cinnamon, which is, which is used in the, in the anointing oil. Cinnamon is very healthy. It says it also means ended. Those evil ways that our daughter's been going in, they're over. It's, it has ended. And Father God, now they have been anointed with the cinnamon oil. To go and to do what you've called them to do, Father God. As I'm talking about it, I have the cinnamon oil on me. I just made the anointing oil for somebody. Father, I thank you. It also means scraped off. Everything that's not of you, Father God, is being scraped off of our daughters. You're washing them, polishing them, renewing them in the name of Jesus. Deliverance for our daughters today. In the name of Jesus. Kizia. And the next one is Karen, a Karen, a Pook. And it means horn with mascara it's radiate with beautiful eyes beautified eyes father god our daughter's eyes are open their spiritual eyes heal their physical and spiritual eyes right now in the name of jesus where they can see your will and your way father and that they're beautiful father because of your holy spirit they're not trying to be beautiful father god happen to be beautiful know that they're beautiful already father god by heaven's mascara father god by heaven's makeup according to psalm 139 in the name of jesus may they father god may they not have to try to be beautiful but that they will love themselves Help us to love who we are, Father God, and, and stop trying to be fake and have on the fig leaves like Adam and Eve. Help us to be real, naturally beautiful, and anointed by the Most High God. 
in the name of Jesus. Father God, may we radiate with your love, with your beauty, Father God. Beautify us with salvation. Father God, beautify our daughters with salvation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And the Bible speaks of another person whose daughters were represented, Father God, the daughters of Zelophead. And they, they, they were, they're females, so back then they weren't allowed to get an inheritance. But Father God, they spoke up. They spoke up, oh God. And they, they went to, I believe it was Moses. And in verse 2, they said, When the Lord commanded my Lord to give the land as an inheritance to the Israelites by lot, he ordered you to give the inheritance of our brother Zelophead to his daughters. To his daughters. Father, I thank you that the daughters are receiving their inheritance. And the, the daughters were Mala, Terza, Hagla, Milka, and Noah. And so, Father God, I thank you that you're giving your daughters their portion. And the name Mala means um, entreaty. Entreaty or to entreat. It also, it also says disease. And so, Father, I thank you that you're healing our daughters of every disease. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Healing is our birthright. Like the woman with the issue of blood who used to have an issue of blood. Father God, you're healing your daughters of every infirmity, sickness, and disease. Every dis-ease. Father God, you're removing and making things easy. Give, you, Father God, you're giving us ease. Giving our daughter ease. No more dis-ease. Healing is their birthright. Healing is their portion. And to entreat means to ask someone earnestly or anxiously to do something. So Father God, we entreat you. On behalf of our daughters, we supplicate for them, oh God. We make supplication. It means to pray. Father God, we pray for our daughters. It means to exhort. It means to beseech, to implore, to petition the courts of heaven. Father God, we petition the courts of heaven, the supreme courts of heaven for our daughters, oh God. Bless them indeed. Bless them indeed, oh God. Remove all of their disease. Father God, you remove all of our disease and you heal us. By the stripes of Jesus, our daughters are healed. And the next daughter, Terza, and her name means delight and pleasantness. And I've been driving around and I saw so many streets that meant that had the name pleasant. And Father God, you said if we delight ourselves in you, you will give us the desires of our hearts. And Eden means delight, the place of delight. So Father God, you're taking our daughters to that place of delight. And give them pleasant blessings because of your favor. It means to be pleased with or favored. But too, Father God, our daughters have found favor with you. And now you are blessing them beyond measure. Elevating and promoting them, Father God. Taking away the dis-ease and giving them, oh God, delight, the delightful blessings and pleasant blessings, oh God. Pleasantness in the name of Jesus. And the next daughter, Hagla. And her name means Partridge. Partridge is her name. And so, Father God, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Father God, that you take care of the birds. And so you're taking care of our daughters. In the name of Jesus, we trust in you. You're taking care of our daughters like you take care of the birds. And so we're not, we're not worried about anything. And the next daughter, Milka means queen and counsel. And Father God, our daughters are being counseled by the Holy Spirit. And Father God, you said that we are a royal priesthood, that we are kings and queens in the house of the Lord. And so I thank you, oh God, that our daughters, they've been given that crown. Glory to God. For every ashes, oh God, you're giving them the beautiful crown. Their minds are renewed. Their minds are restored, Father God. And they walk in power and authority, dominion. And they have the keys of the kingdom, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Their father is, is king. Father, I thank you that we are royalty. Our daughters are royalty in the name of Jesus. And they're no longer settling for anything, oh God, that's not of you. And the next daughter, Noah. Noah. 
And I believe Noah means comfort. I believe Noah means comfort. Father God, in the name of Jesus, you're giving our daughters comfort and, and, and rest. Comfort. Comfort. It also means shaker. Father God, you're shaking up everything. You're shaking up any father everything, oh God, that's not of you. You're shaking our you're shaking our, our daughters up to their purpose, waking them up. No longer are they wandering around. You're shaking them up. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for this powerful word. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Luke 13, verse 16. It speaks of the the woman in the synagogue. It says, it says she was bent over. Starting at verse, verse 11. A woman was there who had been crippled for, crippled by a spirit of, for 18 years. She was crippled by an evil spirit. The infirmity spirit. And she was bent over and could not straighten up at all. And when Jesus saw her, he called her forward and said to her, woman, you are set free from your infirmity. And then he put his hands on her and immediately she straightened up and praised God. And in verse 16, it says, Then should not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has kept bound for 18 years, be set free on the Sabbath day from what bound her? So Father, I thank you for setting our bound daughters free. Because they are the daughters of Abraham. You're healing them of their infirmity, those who've been sick. Father, we bind the spirit, the strong men of infirmity, sickness and disease. We bind and cast them out into the abyss. Anything that's causing our daughters to be crippled or to be bound. Father God, we set them free using the anointing, the blood, the word, the Holy Ghost. And our daughters are straightened up, living upright, Father, before you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. They're going to be like Deborah in the book of Judges chapter 4. And she led your people. So those who said women can't minister. Father God, you're not pleased with those ministers out there who speaking against your word. There's neither male nor female. Father, you're using everybody. If you, if you can use a donkey, you can use our daughters in your kingdom. And you're not pleased with some of these ministers who've been speaking against the women. You're using the women. In the last days, you're pouring out your spirit upon all flesh, sons and daughters. And so, Father, I thank you for raising up our daughters to be like Deborah, whose name means be. And they're bringing the honey of the word of God and stinging the devil. Piercing the devil, the wicked. But, Father God, spreading the gospel, the honey of the gospel, the, the gospel honey to the nations. There's healing properties in the honey. And our daughters are going forth, preaching the good news and helping to heal and deliver, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. I cover them. Galatians 3, 28. There's neither Jew nor Gentile nor slave nor free, nor is there male and female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. Our daughters are chosen as well in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for Numbers 36. Zelophiad's, Zelophiad's daughters. Father, I thank you. How many daughters are there? One, two, three, four, five. Five is grace. Noah had three. Completion. Resurrection. Trinity. Father, I thank you for raising up our daughters. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father God, you said our children are a heritage. From you, O oh God, the fruit of the womb, a reward. Psalm 127, verse 3. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you, Father God. Father God, you say you settled a childless woman in her home as a happy mother of children. Praise the Lord. We are happy. You gave us our daughter. Psalm 113, verse 9. You gave, gave them to us. And so we cover them. Psalm 8, verse 2. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. Father, our children are warriors. Our daughters are warriors 
against the enemies, destroying our wickedness, our wickedness in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And so we raise them in the way that they should go, Father, so that when they get older, they, they will not return from your way. Proverbs 22, verse 6. In the name of Jesus, our children obey their parents. They honor their mother and father. And we, will, and we do not exasperate our children. We bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Ephesians 6, 1 to 4. Father, we follow your, your commandments. Exodus 20, verse 12. Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land of the, that, that the Lord your God has given you. Our children honor. Father, our, our daughters, they honor their mothers and fathers. And they live, they live long in the, in the earth, oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. In the name of Jesus. Our, our, our daughters receive good news now, Father. They, un, they understand the word of God and they obey the word of God. They have godly marriages, godly children. Bless businesses, bless ministries. In the name of Jesus. Father God, they're quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to become angry. They have the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Our daughters, they live holy. They're not fornicating, Father God. They're saving themselves until marriage. They're not following the temptations of this world, Father God. They're like, they're like Samuel serving you, hearing your voice, calling their names. Father, I thank you and praise your name for this prayer. And I cover it with the blood. And there will be no backlash or retaliation of the devil. Father, I praise your name. That we see a mighty breakthrough for our children. Glory to God. Speak Holy Ghost. I am listening. They are delivered. This is a day of deliverance. This is a day of deliverance for our daughters. Anything that's... Father, anything that's planted in them that's not of you, Father, we uproot right now and burn up with Holy Ghost fire. We only plant the seed of the word of God. Father, we plant the seed of the word. Father, God, cover them with the blood. Father, heal their foundation in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that they are redeemed from every curse and they are blessed. Father, God, I thank you that they walk in humility, no more pride. No more lust, no more perversion, no more rebellion, no more witchcraft, no more idolatry, no more poverty, no more rejection, no more fear, no more confusion, no more addiction, no more premature death and destruction. I bind those evil spirits and cast them out into the abyss. I destroy the curses from off of our daughters. Our daughters walk in the spirit. They have life and life more abundantly. They have self-control. They have peace. They have faith. They only serve you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. They only speak the word. Father, I thank you that they are loved. They feel your love. They feel your love, oh God. They feel your peace. They feel your strength. You bless them with wealth and health, oh God, in the name of Jesus. They want for nothing. They lack no good thing. In the name of Jesus. Their steps are ordered by you, Father. And they represent you wherever they go. And they are brilliant, educated, educated, graceful, merciful. They know their purpose. They know their godly assignments and they're walking fully in it. In the name of Jesus, I thank you and I praise your name, Father. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise your name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. And amen. Be blessed, victorious ones. And I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Share this broadcast with somebody and bless them in the name of Jesus. And I just pray, Father God, those prodigal daughters will come back home. On this day that we're praying, Father God, 
April 27th, 2020. We release Psalm 27 over our daughters. Yes, Lord, we're going to see a mighty deliverance. The valley of dry bones of, of, the, of the daughters who were just lost. They're rising up to be a vast army for the most high God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. They're dressed in righteousness and holiness, wearing the golden crown of beauty. They have an excellent, upright spirit, a spirit of excellence. Thank you, oh God. This I pray in the name of Jesus. And this prayer shall be answered by fire, oh God. I thank you for justice in the courts of heaven, in the supreme courts of heaven, concerning our daughters. Thank you, oh God. Success is their portion. Success is their portion. For I know the plans I have for you, saith the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Thank you, Father, for using our daughters to rebuild what's righteous. In the name of Jesus, according to Isaiah 61. Thank you, Father God, that people are being good to our daughters. They have favor with you and with men. In the name of Jesus. Amen.